Here's a quick intro video for a 10.8 acre track, 10.876 acres. Uh, this is in Howell County, Missouri. This is track two at Whitetail Crossing. Um, so this is in an area that's really well known for big whitetail deer. Great area for, for deer and turkey hunting. Um, but specifically, uh, huge whitetail deer in the, right in this little specific area in Howell County here. Uh, this is a great location. It's just off a of county maintained road and it has frontage on a private uh, easement road along its whole east side and one of the nicest things about this property is it's got a beautiful pine grove on the east side uh, with hundreds of, of uh, tall straight pine trees uh, from small to medium to, to huge pine trees on this property and we'll zoom in in a minute we'll check that out but but here's the property here it's outlined in red uh, it's about 255 feet north to south it's fully surveyed by the way uh, with the corners marked so uh, a little over 250 feet north to south, so nice and wide, plenty of room to, to build, dozens of building sites, uh, and it goes back to the west about 1,800 feet. So, um, I mean, you have a lot of options, whether you want to build toward the east side, closer to the road, whether you want to build in the Pine Grove, which is um, just east of center here, or if you go west of that, then you're into the hardwood trees. So then you've got the oaks and hickories and whatnot um, where, you can, where you can build and, and camp and hunt and all that good stuff. Uh, so why don't we, first let's zoom out and we'll show you where this is. This is a great location. It's very private, but you're only just uh, a few miles out of several good towns. I'm going to switch this to street map so it's a little less uh, confusing or busy. Here's the town of Mountain View, Missouri. That's the closest Walmart. Uh, it's only about, I don't know, six mile, five or six miles from the property, I guess. To get there from Mountain View, you just go south on Highway 17 and go west on County Road 2800 for a little over a mile. Uh, then you take a left onto the private easement road, which I believe is classified as um, Private Road 2803, uh, and go just a couple hundred feet, and you'll see the property on the west side of the road there. Um, so that's from Mountain View. The other nearby town to the north would be Willow Springs over here, to the northwest, I guess. Um, and then the largest regional town is just about 15 miles to the south, and that's West Plains, Missouri, which you can see here on the on the bottom of the video. Um, this green shaded area is the Mark Twain National Forest, so you've got tens of thousands of acres of additional hunting land just a few miles from the property. Uh, this is very close to different rivers and creeks. Uh, actually, the 11 Point River is within just a few miles of this property, uh, but there are several other major ones within uh, 20 or 30 minutes, so great property. If we want to quickly zoom way out, whoops, I think I went too far. Okay, well, it's still showing us the property here. If you look to the west, uh, a little over an hour uh, from Springfield, Missouri, uh, you've got Branson about the same distance. You've got the different lakes down here, Bull Shoals Lake, Table Rock Lake, Norfolk Lake. Um, east would be Poplar Bluff. Uh, and actually, you're only, I think, about three hours south of St. Louis. Um, and then uh, Kansas City, Missouri, is a little further to the northwest. But Springfield has a good airport. Branson has a smaller airport. Um, we fly in and out of out of Springfield all the time and uh, super cheap flights out of St. Louis so um, really nice property for for vacation even if you're not uh, already living in Missouri so let's zoom back in we'll take a close-up view of this property as we try to keep this short let's go back to the Google map we're using the map right program by the way it's a great way to view properties um, you can see the the inner the interactive link in the property listing itself on our website at instantacres.com. If the property is still available, that's where you'll see it. When you go to view the property, uh, if you get the free MapRite app for your phone or your tablet, uh, then we can send you uh, the link for this actual listing. We can email it to you for the, for the map, I should say, for this listing. And if you click on the, the link in the email and open it up in the, within the app, not only will you have the interactive map, but there'll be a little colored dot to indicate right where you are. It works off the GPS um, from your phone or tablet. So it, it makes it really easy to drive to the property and it makes it a, a really easy way to explore the property because you can basically hold your phone in your hand and you're walking around and it's showing that color dot. It's showing where you're moving in relation to the property. So it's super neat. Okay, I'm going to zoom way in here. So we're going to kind of look at this. Uh, Google Maps are usually a few years behind, but I think this shows it somewhat fairly well. Uh, if you look here, you can see this is an old map for the before the easement road itself was kind of widened out and smoothed and actually the map placement is off just a little bit it should should be shifted to the right um, but again the property is fully surveyed and it does border that easement road along its entire east side 
but this does show you've got somewhat of an open area with a few trees along the east side. As you get back about, a, I don't know, 100 feet or so, uh, that's when you get into this massive pine grove, and it, it is beautiful. I mean, check out the videos. Um, very rarely do we do we have, rarely if ever, <laughs> other than uh, two or three tracks at this whitetail uh, crossing area, have we, have we had a pine grove like this. I mean, it's gorgeous. Um, pine trees are awesome because they're often the preferred choice for log cabins because they're so long and straight, which you don't get with oaks and hickories and that kind of stuff. So, uh, at, by the way, after the property's been paid for in full, you can cut all the timber, you can leave it alone, you can cut it for firewood, you can cut it for lumber, you can cut full logs for log cabins. That's after it's been paid for in full. Uh, so we've got the pine grove. As you go west from there, you transition into the hardwood trees, and that's where you're going to get your oaks and hickories and whatnot. And there's a lot of mature timber on this property. Beautiful property. Switch to topo map because another great thing about this property is actually the way the ground lays. It, it lays really nicely. <coughs> Excuse me. Topo maps can definitely be a little confusing. Uh, since we're familiar with the area, it's easy for us to read this one. The highest spot is about where that pine grove is. Um, so as you come off the road, it, it slopes up very gently, level where the pine grove is, and then slopes down so gently that it, you could easily call this flat. I mean, yeah, until you get to the extreme west side, and then it does slope down a little, a little more steeply. But the vast majority of the property is either completely flat or easily flat enough to be usable for just about anything. So, um, which is pretty unusual in the Ozarks. I mean, if we just back out a little bit, uh, I mean, take a look at this area. The, the closer the lines are, the steeper they are. Uh, and this is the Ozark, so most everything is either going up or coming down. But this particular property, 90% uh, of it uh, is either level or really close to level. So really nice tract. There's another view there. Yeah, gorgeous property. So again, you can see the darker area, which is the pine, and the rest is going to be hardwood trees. So yeah, go to instantacres.com. Um, great, great tract, good access, very private, amazing hunting. Um, you can check the website to see if it's still available. Uh, surveyed 10-acre tracks like this, especially in this area, they just do not last. So if, if this is something you've been looking for, uh, check the listing. If you have any questions, uh, please just contact us. We'd be happy to, to talk to you about this or any other property. Um, instantacres.com. You can email us at sales at instantacres.com anytime.